doing that. Uh, continue best of luck with your recovery as well and, and stay positive. Uh, that's the, uh, More power to you. I've been here, you are talking on telly yeah. a week after your it's surgery. Amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> well done, you. Oh. Thank you very much, everyone. Well done, Diana, well done. Um, well, we've also got Francesca on the line now and talking about staying positive. I mean, she hasn't just beaten breast cancer, she stopped a support group as well. Good morning, Francesca. Good morning. Good morning. Wow. You, I mean, you are some woman. <laughs> well, <laughs> really impressive. Um, tell me uh, when you first got diagnosed. Um, I was first diagnosed in March 2018 with uh, stage 1 grade 2 breast cancer. Um, yeah, it just came out of the blue, just down the lump one morning. Um, and um, I went to the doctors and I didn't really think that that was the result that I was going to get after I had all the tests. Um, but, you know, it was fine. I got through that. Um, I had the mastectomy and reconstruction. I didn't need any chemo or radio at the time. Um, but then in October 2020, um, I had an issue with my arm and after further tests, it was unrelated to the cancer, but they did find that I had metastases in my shoulder and my hip. And what happened then? I mean, obviously that's, that must have been quite a blow at that point uh, for you, yeah. Francesca. I didn't, I didn't expect that at all, because literally the issue that I had with my arm, unrelated the cancer it just it, it was like it was meant to be found at that time um and i think it was caught quite early um and uh, yeah we just went through the motions then of you know treatment and um and i'm what three and a half years down the line now um i'm in metabolic remission and yeah two years ago i felt where i was struggling a little bit mentally i just decided to try and get a group of ladies together that were in a similar position um, how did you go about contacting them? How did you set up this group? I'm sure there's other people out there who'd like to have an idea about how you actually go about something like that. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a local group on um, Facebook called, um, and I just literally put a post on there and uh, I just um, put on there that, you know, what my story was and I was wondering if there were any other people in my position that wanted to get together and I, I all of a sudden, I, I I was so shocked, I didn't expect this, but I was just getting loads of direct messages and I, I said to my husband, I think this is going to work. Oh, and there's actually 40 ladies that have joined yeah. us. And, and how amazing is that to just have each other to lean on as well, especially yeah. Deidre, as you were saying, there are moments where you feel really positive and there are moments when maybe you don't. Absolutely, and, and I think also it's the, it's the reality. I think to have other people who really do know how you feel, because they yeah. are that are there now or have been there, and I think they respond so well, don't they? So do you guys get yeah. together regularly? Yeah. So I, I originally have set the Facebook group, but we actually have a WhatsApp group now, and we, we chat pretty much every day, and we we meet up once a month, you know, um, day or evening. We have our Christmas dinners, and we're going to the theatre. Um, so, but like I said, even if not everyone can make every meeting, but we're, we're there on the phone, we're on the chat, you know, to ask, to support, or to have. Absolutely. I think we might have lost you, but Francesca, well done. Amazing. What an amazing group. And I know that all 40 of those ladies are going to appreciate it so I'd much. I'd imagine really if you would say any sort of support group you mm -hmm. can find in the community. Yeah, I think it's really worth doing. And I, and I was saying what I mentioned earlier, we've actually put um, the charities like Macmillan up on our website today. So if, if this is affecting you in any way, whether you've got a friend or a family member or it's you, do look on our website today because the, there are all these... Um, helpful signpostings, and of course, people like Macmillan. They also, they you know, they have online chat as well as a phone line. There is, there is support out there for you. You know, whatever is wrong, there is support there. So please do see that you never have to go through this alone. Okay, let's go to Maria, uh, who's on the line. Uh